friends this is a very short video on how to implement or create a scheduled graded online quiz so it's a scheduled quiz what does that mean it means that release the quiz at the exact time for example 10 a.m tomorrow and end the quiz at the exact time for example 10 10 a.m so that the participants will get just 10 minutes to answer the quiz you know the question so let us say there are 20 questions and only the participants will get just 10 minutes to answer so participants are going to get just 30 seconds to answer one question why would you need to do that so that the quiz for reducing the online exam cheating if you have a lot of time then uh, you know of course you can do malpractices right if you have ever taken a course on Coursera or edX or Khan Academy or future learn you there is something called honor core so in India or elsewhere for this online test there is no honor core so definitely you would need to do some control over the accessibility or the timing so this this method works pretty well so first let us go to the Google Forms so first thing to do in the Google Forms to create a quiz is to hover your mouse on the plus you don't click it just hover it see once you hover it there will be two options coming just click on the first option the choose template option and there are a lot of templates coming here one of the template we would like to use is blank quiz Let's name this as a COVID-19 quiz. Now, let us start putting the question. Just double click. And first question here is that which of the following boost immunity against novel coronavirus? Option one, arsenicum album option two is tulsi option three jaggery option four turmeric in lukewarm water option five turmeric in lukewarm milk option six none of the above and once you're done with this let us put the answer key here so the answer of course can you guess which is the answer the answer is none of the above none of these are immune boosters friends there is no immune boosters for the uh, novel coronavirus there is only one booster that is vaccine but as of now vaccines are not available in the market right so let us put the point so in this google form each question can have differential grading that's a very good advantage for this right and now let us mark it as a done right so how to make the scheduled release that is the point of this video so to do that inbuilt option for the google form does not exist for scheduled release so you need to get one add-in so to get that add-in you will have to click on these three dots three dots is nothing but more options or menu options and here you will have to click on the add-ons the add-on you would like to install is called email notification so this is the add-on you want to install Click on that add-in, click install, click continue, click on your name, scroll down and click allow. It's now installed. So let us click done and close this uh, G Suite marketplace window. So we are now back in the same uh, menu, right? So this is our blank quiz, the COVID-19 quiz. And now if you look at carefully, you can see that there is one new add-on. This, this, uh, this was non-existent earlier. Now we got one add-on. So let us click on this add-on. So this is called email notification for Google form. So this add-on has been installed. So let us click on this add-on. See, there are multiple options coming. The option that you would like to click is this limit Google form responses. So in this window, you can put all the parameters. For example, here, the open form from exactly when you want to open this form. Uh, let us say 30, that is tomorrow. And the time can be 10 o'clock. So let us say 10, 0, 0. And end is again tomorrow, 30th, and the time is 10 15. Or you can put after so many entries. For example, if you have 23 students in your class, so let us uh, we can put here as after 23 entries. It all depends upon what you would like to have it. And you can also have this one in, uh, uh, you know, you can have it in uh, days like it's a repeat task. And now, you're, if you're done with this, then let us say, let's click save. So the form limiter has been updated and now you can just close this window. 
by the way this form you can also put different kinds of questions right it's not just multiple choice you can also put uh, the paragraph and short answer today i had a webinar and many participants asked me in the google form can i put a paragraph to make it a descriptive kind of quiz of course you can make this way as well paragraph or short answer and you can also put checkbox or drop down of even file upload uh, you can ask the participant to upload a file you know or multiple choice grade or checkbox grade or date or time different kinds of responses you can have it and if you click on here plus you can put an add questions and this is for uh, import the questions from a different quiz in your uh, google forms and this is to add an image for example if you want to present a uh, you know a graph uh, asking the students to analyze it or if you want to present a, a, a historical figure and a photograph asking them to identify who is this so you would need to have this image and you can also import uh, a, a video uh, identifying for example whose speech is this so all those things you can put or you can also put a, a, add a different section other controls include this is for the theme and this is for the preview and this is the finer settings of uh, the google form so let us click on the preview and see as you see this form is not available as of now because this is not yet released you know and this form will be released only tomorrow between 10 to 10 15 this form will be available so as of now a preview is also not possible so finally if you want to send the form to your students so simply click here send and click on the second link here and this is the link that you would like to copy so let us shorten the link and simply click copy and paste it this copy to the clipboard right so just paste this link into the slack or whatsapp or the email and just ask the students uh, give the instruction that this form will be available from 10 to 15 10 15 tomorrow you can also implement collect email address option to know who did the responses you know you can collect the email address of each responses so before leaving i want to say that this add-in this is a very useful add-in was developed by an indian programmer a lot of indian programmers are working for this google system and this programmer's name is amit agarwal and he has been doing wonderful work with the uh, various kinds of google related uh, work and amit is an amazing guy i'm his big fan and thank you so much amit for this wonderful add-in if you like this video please click like button and share it in relevant groups and subscribe to my channel Enjoy and have a nice day.